Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We just got back from ICAST and we have exciting news for you. We've got three new bait collaborations that we want to talk to you about. The first one being a partnership with River to Sea on the brand new Tactical 210 Wake, a full size wake bait. Six new colors in the Tactical Crank and then a partnership with Mike Buka on the burrito. We've done a custom color run in the burrito. Let's go ahead and start off with six new additional colors to the River Sea Tactical DD Crank. Those of you guys that have followed the channel for a long time know that we designed this crankbait several years ago. We really wanna hone in on a cold water crank, a real tight wobble crankbait. I mean, we figured out that it works awesome in the summertime too, so we knew that we needed to add some additional colors to fill some niches, so that's what we went and did. We added six additional colors. Yeah, I mean, as a cold water crankbait, we had this thing dialed, the colors were selected for very specific things, but we found out, I mean, immediately following the launch, that we could blast them in the summertime too. And it, as recently as yesterday, right. like you said, we saw a guy commenting, that's the only thing he can catch them on in the summertime, it's amazing. So with that in mind, here we are with a hole. We were focused on cold water, now we're talking summertime. So we also wanted to fill in a few other niches. So my first one up, this is clear water minnow. As you look at it in the lineup on Tackle Warehouse, it looks a whole lot like some right. of the other colors. So you're going, why another clear color? Why did you go ghost again? Very simple. All of the original run are shot with pearl bellies. This is a unique bait. It's very ghosty, dark backed, but here's the important thing, and several of these have this, a true white belly. White bellied, not pearl. It's a small thing, but shad and a few other bait fish have very white bellies. And when you get into really clear water, that matters. So we wanted a ghost with a true white belly and that fit that void. Yeah, that you explained that great. Uh, I'll go ahead and go with the other color that we went with, a white belly. This is actually called True Shad. Again, like Matt just explained, a lot of the previous baits had that different colored belly. Uh, and I will say, it's hard to see these colors Pictures in the picture on online doing don't this. give these picture th these baits the colors justice you know the little flare outs of pinks and blues and uh we we spent a lot of time developing these colors so this guy right here true shad kind of a greenish back a ghosty color with a white belly that is a good summertime shad color it sure is next one up let's go with this one i'm going to end on that one this guy right here summer minnow chasing that sexy shad-esque look. So that blue back, but we went with a bluish silver back, fading into chartreuse, fading to a pearl belly. But here's the important thing, we went half chrome. So it's sexy shad-esque, ghost sexy shad, mixed with a chrome. So you get flash, plus that chartreuse, that little bit of blue, it's an amazing, I mean, I'm gonna call it, for me, it's a summertime color, but for other people, it's a year-round color. It is a major player, and we wanted to fill that one in. All these are year-round colors. You, I mean, you can't really leave home without any of these, depending on water clarity and temperature right. And, right. And, and, and what the fish are eating. Uh, you know, when bass are chasing schools of bait this time of year, when you see them hopping out of the water, you see that flash. So that was really cool to be able to add that half chrome in there to give this that additional flash. Um, it's been killer for us. Next color up in the lineup is gonna be this guy right here. This is Golden Ghost Minnow. So it's a ghost minnow base, still has the pearl belly, but we added a little bit of a gold tint to it. Uh, guys that are spinnerbait fishermen, you guys know that sometimes you'll have to add gold blades instead of silver mm -hmm. blades. And we wanted to kind of tweak the already ghost minnow color and add a little bit of go uh, gold to it. Uh, that guy right there is really pretty. This is probably one of my favorites and it's probably not gonna show up in the pictures. Probably not. But that is a winner right there, guys. This is my last one and again, gold. We knew that we had a hole there. We knew we needed to add gold, so we added two. That more of that ghosty look and then this guy here, this is Northern Special. This is one that I just fought for. The guys are like, why that one? I'm like, you gotta trust me on this. 
and you guys have got to trust me on this this is a color that i crush with we named it northern special because it's always on my deck when i go north always but i throw it all over the country so it's a brown back fading to a true gold side to a very specific shade of a yellowish orange belly you look at it and you're like why that one <laughs> the reason why that one is because it catches giants smallmouth crush it absolutely crush it when i'm going north smallie fishing that is hands down my personal number one color but it's also a major player with largemouth coming from clear lake now that i'm not there every day and need the information in my back pocket september october that hands down is my color i caught so many giants on that gold fading to that orangish yellow belly i can't even put my finger on why but it happened year after year it's such a key color so i battled to make <laughs> sure that did. that one made the cut yeah we have so many i mean we're, our brains are always working we're always playing with oh, uh, tackle and and ideas and colors and colorways and and you know we had to figure out what was going to make that top six list right and that was one we had I kind of had to go back and forth with but i have seen it happen i've had my butt kicked by that color <laughs> and um you know we added it to the list last but not least you know we designed this entire lineup as a cold water crank uh, we went with chartreuse blue you guys know that we love throwing chartreuse blue for smallmouth clear water spotted bass but summertime as well so we went more of a ghosty route Again, chartreuse blue, got that blue back, chartreuse belly, little bit of flash in there. It's kind of that ghosty color, but how do you have a crankbait lineup without some kind of chartreuse gotta blue? Be there. You know, we throw them in kitex, we throw them in swim baits, we throw them in everything. That chartreuse blue is a must and it works great on the summertime largemouth. Obviously works great on big spots and big smallmouth. Yeah, that ghost is the key because chartreuse and blue is a summertime right. killer but ghost turns that into a year round color exactly. and branches out across the species. So that's it for new additions to the crankbait. Now let's talk burrito and then we'll talk about the wake bait. And on wake bait, we're going all in on this. We're gonna show you retrieves, how we work them, all that stuff. Why it's different, why it's special. Exactly. But let's talk about the burrito. The burrito is a bait that we have fallen in love with over the last few years. Uh, it is just a fish catching bait and then all of a sudden this opportunity popped up why don't you talk about that let's talk about how we got it. and then i'll talk about the color yeah matt and i had already I mean, we've been fishing the burrito for years uh it's a great bait has a real powerful hard thumping tail it's almost like a you could feel like a chatter bait uh, and it it works really well especially in summertime bottom crimping you can feel what what's going on because you got the the weight up front but i was literally at a show and and buka mike mike buka is a, a friend of ours and uh, we were hanging out chatting and he's like hey tim you got any ideas for colors and obviously we do obviously right? we're always yes, we're always, we're always doing so that i pull out my phone i'm like what about this 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 and this And he's like well come up with something so matt and i got together and we came out with this color right here guys this is the new tactile shad color so we're bringing it in the five inch and the six inch burrito uh, the burrito is a killer. I mean, yeah. we crush with that bait. It, it is unique. It's one of those baits that just has it. That special it that fish react to and they eat. Uh, but there was a color we wanted, <laughs> right. right? So we sat down and we sort of blended an electric shad with the a Tennessee. Tennessee shad. That's how we ended up here. So you've got a very pearl belly and then more of that darker tan fading to purple in the top and then it's got that that electric shad yeah. glitter in it right You've, you're seeing the blues the purples and a little bit of black flake in there too and it is a killer it's it's not a special run this is permanently in their line now but this was a partnership we did with mike to bring a special color that we felt was a hole it was a color we wanted so that when we were out fishing we'd have that and now we've got it here for you guys too. Yeah, the five inch and the six inch, uh, like Matt said, this this bait straight up catches them. Um, you know, it's we wanted a color that we could fish for all three species. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you add that kind of electric shad flash or glitter to a bait, now you're playing the games with you know with the smallmouth, clear water, your uh, spotted bass, big spots. That five inch is awesome for the big spots. But we caught we've caught giants here as oh my like gosh last week on on this color they straight up choke it so again you just add a little bit of flash and uh 
Thank you, Mike, for the opportunity. This this color is great. Uh, we couldn't be happier. You guys are gonna love yeah. it. It's a good one. All right, with that, let's shift gears. Let's get in depth with the wake bait. We'll talk to you about how we got here, and then at the end, we'll show you how we work it and all those things. All right, guys, there's been a lot of hype about this bait the last several days after we released it. Introducing the River to Sea Tactical Wake 210. This bait is several years in the making. Oh, man. Uh, you know, it's it, so much pride and so much time go into this. So many, we're just happy. We're happy, we're happy that it's, it's, it's here. here. We're happy about the final product. Couldn't be happier with the way this whole thing turned out. You know, we set set out to do this project several years ago uh, and really had in mind what key features, what we wanted out of a wake bait. And through several years of uh, tweaking and playing around, finally nailed it and we couldn't be happier to bring you guys the new tactical wake. 210. So this bait, let me talk to you about what's important to us in a wake. That's going to kick it off. I've believed for 20 plus years of wake bait fishing that single joint, lipped, soft tailed baits get the biggest bites consistently. That's just, it puts out a very injured action and it just draws giant bites. I've always believed that. So when we started talking wakes years ago, we knew that's where we were headed. We knew that we were going lipped, single joint, soft tail. Now, specifics on this bait. Can I go down the rabbit hole? Can we do it? Yeah, first off, what are the first three things that stand out to you that we started off, right? The way it swam, the way it sat in the water, all that stuff. Okay, that's, that's what we're doing. So we wanted, there's, there's key things that matter. A lipped bait comes through cover unbelievably well, especially this one. A bait that sits flat as opposed to nose down. So most wake baits, when you crank them, get a very nose down, your water line's about here, and they're pushing. It's not great for hookup ratio. Right. They have to do it to get action. So, I mean, we went completely against the grain. You'll never know the hours that were spent on test tanks and on the lake, getting the action we wanted, getting the hookup ratio we wanted. So this bait sits flat in the water and it swims flat in the water. And as a result, fish don't come in and headshot and hit the bill, they T-bone. Because the whole bait is present, so they aim for center mass. Most of the fish I catch get a full face full of hook. The hookup ratio is phenomenal. Same thing with that soft tail. We wanted a tail, if they came in from the back, a lot of baits with hard tails, that blocks bites. You end up not hooking up. That drives me crazy. Right. So not only did we go soft tail, and I mean they are soft, they're also hinged. They will completely collapse out of the way. It will literally never block a hookup. That was so important to us. And then talking specific to this bait, I mean, we've already addressed tail a little bit, but we're gonna come back to that tail shape. A very unique joint and a very unique lip. That joint is patent pending. It's a metal joint and we did some very unique things with it. Simon at River to Sea is an animal when it comes to design, he's good. So we had an amazing guy working with us, helping us bring this to reality. Uh, completely custom joint system that is so strong and it has an amazing sound to it. And then a very unique lip. I'm sure you guys noticed the wide lip. You notice it's rolled under. Everything about that lip has a purpose, but that lip never gets in the way of my hookup. It's amazing because of how that bait sits, hookup ratio is flawless. Yeah, that'll drive you crazy when you're throwing a wake bait and you make a long cast and the hook catches on the bill. Uh, oh, you know, several, man. I mean, you guys know, maybe you don't, you know, when we designed that, the crank, so many hours, you know, Simon, like Matt said, is a, is a genius. He thinks outside the box and he's got the facilities, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a tank there. He's got underwater microphones. He's yeah, got- You're talking a test tank where I'm up top throwing and Tim is watching the baits from below. I mean, it's incredible. And listening facility. to him, uh, you know, Matt touched on the joint, touched on the tail, but that's actually a metal hinged uh, joint as well. But just the sound, the swim, everything about it, we've tinkered with for several years. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to cut you off. No, you're fine. So here's the biggest thing. We wanted a wake bait 
that wasn't one dimensional. And what I mean by that is there's three distinct ways that we fish a wake bait and we needed the bait to be able to do all of them. Right. That was the hard part. So here's the deal. The first way we fish it is that traditional hard V wake. Steady retrieving, baits kicking hard. You're hearing that amazing clack coming out of that bait. And you just push that big V and those fish blast it. When you're on that big V and you don't even have to twitch them, you're just cruising and all you do is break cadence just for a second. And it just, it's doing this and it does like a little, just a break. If that fish is following, that's his moment. That's just, they let it happen. It's been it. spotted, time to eat. Time to yeah. eat. That V wake is key most of the time. But number two, when it gets choppy, when you've got wind going, you've got boat wakes out ripples. on the lake, yeah. ripple on the water, or really tight quarters. I wanna pitch in behind a dock. I wanna tuck it up in a little pocket in the grass and you don't have a lot of room, they're not gonna follow for 20 feet out of the grass before they blast that V waking bait. We wanted a bait that could be walked and chopped in place. So just completely walked in place and it does it so, so it's so good at it. Big profile, big presence on the surface, but when you're in that key area, that corner of the dock, the shade line, whatever it may be, you can sit there and chop that thing like side to side to side. And it still has that profile, has that action and sound that gets mm -hmm. those big bites. And so many of my bites here on Chick come that way. You see, you see them come out, right? They come out of the cover and instead of just V-Wake and you just play the game, just a little twitch, twitch, right. twitch. And it's, it's dancing and they're under it and they, they come. Now, last but not least, and this was one that I had never found a bait that could do all the above, was the ultra slow crawl. And I mean, painfully slow. Just barely swimming on the surface, not even laying out awake. The picture that comes to my mind, California Delta, first thing in the morning, right. slick, calm water, and you're in the Thule's. You push in a great big V wake with a bunch of clack and doesn't do it. It's too much. It's too much. Super subtle. Crawl as slow as you can go. We have built a bait that as slow as you can crawl, it will swim and it is incredibly unique. When it's like this, when it's slicked off and you wanna stay over their head, you can do it. And that bait just so subtle, that body and that tail just have the faintest, beautiful swim. I'm so proud that we were able to get that. Right. Hopefully this passion has come through. You know, we, we're, we're big baiters. We've thrown big baits for a long time. Ton of knowledge uh, to, to rely on, history, catches, that sort of stuff. And we knew we wanted to get it right. Uh, one more thing I wanna talk about, and then I'll let you talk about why it took so long to come to yeah, market. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, about that bill, you guys can see that it has that little kickback at the bottom. Two things. I hate throwing a wake bait around grass. And, and when you have a big shovel on the front of your bait, you're picking up everything, all the debris on the surface. So this actually pushes it down and out of the way, deflects amazingly off of standing timber. So don't be afraid to throw this bait through those branches. It comes over the top. As those hooks are laying up, it comes over the top and it is far more weedless, far more snagless than you could than ever imagine. You could think in a traditional wake bait bill. Yeah. Now, timing, I'm glad you brought that up. I wanna do one other thing before that, because okay. that is really important. I wanna talk about these tails. You're gonna notice on the trout, there is a different tail than the other six colors. So there's seven colors of the bait. The trout is the only one with this tail shape. That is true to species. When bass eat trout, they eat trout, right? A true trout eater is a trout right eater you need the profile to be perfect so river to sea agreed and they were willing to retool a tail just for that one color uh, just so it would be perfect right all the others now colors vary but you see this oversized big fork tail on all of these baits that was no accident tim and i have experienced for again years years decades that a giant forked tail on any bait fish pattern is huge for converting those fish from followers to biters. 
Uh, it's the first time we've had the opportunity to implement it direct into a bait. Our design, right? Our yeah. design. Yeah. But we have shared that with bait makers for years. There's a bunch of baits that you probably already own that have oversized forks and you just figured out why. Uh, that came from us because we shared that. We wanted that out there. We wanted good baits on the market. So we brought an oversized fork because again, I'm telling you that exaggerated forked tail when you're talking about bait fish profiles makes fish commit. And when this thing is waking and that water line's pushing, and that, so that yeah, water it's, line it's like can ride spin. really right. high if you're going hard. And that thing, that little tail's up there just, to me it's like a, I don't like a thresher shark with a yeah. long tail up there just right. whipping above. It looks so it's good. Awesome. And, so and mirrored on the bottom, right? Uh, underneath yes. the surface. It's just down there just kicking back and forth. So all of this together, we were on a mission to build a high-end bait. I got one more thing. Real Go quick. for it. Those of you guys that want to crank this down, this comes with 3X hardware. Yep. All the way around. If you want to crank it down, get it a little subsurface, go to 4X. And on the flip side, if you want something high float, go to 1X. Go to ST36 hooks. Yeah, you but put an owner ST36 on, on a bomber cast. She is super high float as yep. far out there as you can put. So we made this bait adjustable depending on the hardware, right? So we wanted to make sure that it swam well at the different... Uh, what would you even call it? Strengths or weights, the different terminal tackle on it. The other thing is it does not come with a split ring. A lot of people like to use a snap. We don't. Just tell you point blank, my personal baits, there's a bunch of laying on the boat. I put a hyper wire, a number six hyper wire, or a number seven hyper wire on the nose of that bait. Just a great yep. big split ring. I personally don't trust snaps. It's a point of failure, so I'll put a big split ring on there to truly free up, up the, face. the nose of that bait, but it's up to you. Um, so we wanted to build a high-end bait and we have done that. We put everything we wanted into the bait before we even got around to discussing With, price. Without a budget. Without we, a budget. We came up everything we wanted, the key things that we, we needed in a bait to be happy with it coming to the market. When it was done and it was perfected, we all sat down together and we found out our price was going to be somewhere like 125 to 145 and Tim and I immediately just went, no. We, we won't do that. We're not trying to, to make a fortune on this. Right. We, we wanted to build a special bait. We're not trying to just, just knock it out of the park here. We need to get that price down where it's affordable. And if you guys watched our release video on other platforms, we saw Tackle Warehouse at ICAST, they shot a little video with it. Tim specifically said it's affordable. The bait, in case you're wondering, if you haven't clicked on the link in the description yet and seen, it's $74.99 we were able to get that far down from like 125 to 145 all the way down to 74.99 because the river to sea guys are awesome but here's the thing this bait was done years ago right we said absolutely not we cannot do that this is where the price has to get and the river to sea guys they agreed but they didn't know how to get there those guys are magicians it took years but we compromised on nothing this is the exact bait that was going to cost that much, and we got it down. They had to bring in special painters just to paint these. These are right. our color schemes. We designed these with those guys. We sat in a room and just painstakingly built our colors. Uh, like colors like chrome gill. I immediately saw a comment online. Somebody was like, why isn't there a ghosty gill or a natural gill? We put so much time into a natural gill. That's why there's seven, not eight. There were going to be eight with right. a natural gill. We put so much time into it. And we had it so dialed, but chrome gill, which is just like a sort of a gill, right? Somewhere in the middle, sort of gill, sort of perch, just had that something special. It right. has it. It gets fish to react. So we just took that natural gill, at least for now, just set it aside. We said, we can all acknowledge that one, that one works. Let's just run it. So that's how we ended up with seven instead of eight. But those guys, again, did an amazing job. They brought in special painters just for this project. And I don't know how they pulled it off because we gave up nothing. It's the exact paint. It's the same layers of paint. Everything is perfect. All the way down to, I think that was the fourth or fifth different type of orange on the underbelly of the bluegill. It had to be a specific orange. Very specific. That's how detailed 
we were with this project. I love that color. Yeah. That is the, for me, when you're throwing gill, that's the burnt orange that they respond to best in the most situation. So we'll probably do a more in-depth video on just the wake baits. We wanted to bring these baits to you uh, for the iCast release on everything, but we got rainbow trout, we got copper carp. We have some really cool colors that show up really well in the water and more importantly, catch fish. Should we show them how we work them? Should we jump to some yeah. of that stuff? I know we're probably a long video already, but I think it's important. We want you to know how we work these baits so success. that you can do it too. Right. Right. Yeah, so let's we'll, do that. We'll jump behind the camera, we'll get Matt throwing some baits, and we'll cut to some shots of how to work the reel, the cadence, uh, you'll maybe hear some sounds. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So we've got three main retrieves with this bait. The first retrieve is that steady, big V wake. All we're gonna do is find that sweet spot in the speed, it's right there. That bait is cruising, pushing that giant V. And then again, if I wanna break cadence to try and trigger a bite, I don't jerk, I don't twitch, I just pause. That's all it takes, it's just a cadence break. If there's a fish following that big V and they want to commit, that cadence break is enough that they think that bait fish has busted them and it's about to run and that moment is when they'll do it. Next retrieve is that chopping walking retrieve. So if I've got a lot of chop out on the lake, I've got waves, I'm gonna use that consistent steady chop so that they hear me and see me through the waves. But if I'm around docks or if I'm right up against cover, then I'm gonna slow that down. It's gonna be a smaller chop just trying to get that bait to walk in place. That's all that takes. So I'm getting a ton of sound, I'm getting a ton of movement, a ton of commotion, but I'm not covering a lot of ground. I'm not coming towards the boat or towards the bank very quickly. So again, if I am covering water and I want a steady chop, we just steady chop that thing and it will walk all the way to you with a ton of clatter and racket. Otherwise, just slow it down and slow walk that bait. And then last is going to be that insanely slow crawl. And I do mean insane. Let, let me get this bait going. Oh, oh, she's swimming good right there. You can see how ridiculously slow I'm talking about. I mean, barely handle turning, bait barely coming to you, and it's still Got that super natural, slow creep, slow swim, and it just looks so, so good. And I've never been able to get a bait that could do those multiple things right, and we are so thrilled with this. So those are the retrieves. It's very simple. It is a big bait. We're using big gear. So I'm throwing this on the same rod that I throw glide baits, that I throw big soft baits on. Again, we'll link that stuff down in the video description for you. Our favorites as well as some budget options that'll work really well. But those are the retrieves. It's a very simple bait to fish. It's a floater. So even at $74.99, if you snap one off, it's gonna be out there bobbing, right? It's not going to the bottom of the lake. You can go get your bait. It's a killer. So there it is, guys. Those are our new collaborations, our new uh, products that we wanted to release. iCast, everybody brings their new products to the market, and we're so excited. These projects we've been working, most of these projects we've been working on for, for years. several years, and we couldn't be uh, more excited to bring uh, these products to the market, but uh, more excited to have and see the success that you guys have on the new project. Man, we're so pumped. We, we are so glad the baits are out there because we know what's gonna happen. We know guys are gonna crush giants on the wake. We know that those crankbait colors are expanding new areas of the country for guys, making it easier to catch fish more often. And that guy, I mean, the color's the deal, right? <laughs> it just is the deal. So we're really excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. Of course, in the video description, we'll link all these baits favorite color of course they're all our favorite colors we've built them but we'll try to pick out like maybe, maybe do it by category or our region or something we'll figure something yeah. out for you but again we'll link it all down there as well as some of the gear we use to throw the weight because we know that's important maybe a our exact favorite combo and maybe a budget combo something like that and we'll do a good job of throwing it because it is a big bait yeah 
Yeah, and more importantly, it's all available now. Like, that's... Th yeah, these are all in stock, right. ready to rock. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked the new baits. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.